Uh, it's an exciting moment for us as a national oil company, but also an exciting moment for us as a country because there's been general fatigue within the country on when fast oil will come out. Today is not fast oil, but it's certainly a big step in the right direction. It's the day when we commission the drilling of the wells that will lead us to commercial production. A number of wells are going to be drilled in this area, about 31 wells, and this area will produce about 40,000 barrels of oil per day. But it's not the only area that we are working on together with the partners. There is another area called Tilenga, which is also on track uh, for development, and it will also drill about uh, 426 or so wells in total. I think globally there is a concern about um, financing oil and gas projects and it's not only unique to Uganda. Uh, certainly most of the big companies or big uh, investment houses are moving away from financing fossil fuels. But hey, I think the major issue is are you trying to incorporate environmental considerations into the planning for as long as you can convince the financial that you've taken care of the technical planning, the legal and regulatory environment is clear. The um, resettlement action planning is according to good standards, recognizable standards, and the investment is profitable. You will attract the financing. Oil from Kingfisher will, in, uh, will, will go northwards 50 kilometers to Kabale, uh, as, as will the oil from the Tulenga development. It will come 100 kilometers south also to Kabale, which is the starting point for the ECOP pipeline. And there will be transported onwards to, to Tanga, uh, where it can then be exported to world markets. So the three projects, Kingfisher, Tulenga uh, and ECOP, they really go hand in glove together uh, you can't have one without the other. The, the, the pipeline has to transport the oil and the oil has to be produced here. So the three projects are tightly, uh, tightly interlinked.